Chapter 323 Swan Wisdom Domain. Right now, those who were sharp could tell some clues. While Shu Sanji was retreating, he wasn't completely at a disadvantage. Every step that he took was timed at the perfect instant when the impact force from his opponent was the strongest. His defensive control against an opponent's attack had reached a flawless level. When he retreated, his shield also changed continuously. Every layer that was crushed weakened the attack of his opponent. Long Aoshin knew it best. Even with his control, he couldn't stop Shu Sanji from weakening his attack. It seemed like his opponent was an old turtle who would never perish even in the face of the most brutal thunderstorms. He would only hide within his own shell. Boom, 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 boom. Shu Sanji kept on retreating. Long Aoshin's attack was unceasing. While he was struggling to stay alive, his second and third soul rings shone at the same time. He used the mysterious underworld shield as a series of defensive layers. It worked very similarly to the mysterious underworld quake, especially because he had to control every layer properly to resist Wang Ocean's attack. The eternal defense, Shu Sanchi. He was living up to his name now. Boom. A loud explosion resonated, and Shu Sanchi was flung back along with his shield. He retreated more than 20 meters this time before he crashed to the ground. He staggered a few steps again before he neutralized the impact force that had struck him. On the other side, Wang Ocean also stopped, and the look in his eyes became sharper. What a troublesome fellow to deal with. Wang Ocean cursed in his heart. Who Yuan's judgment was right. The strength of Yama's invitation was beyond what Wang Ocean had expected. Although he had forced the Yama's invitation out from his body, his passageways were still damaged. He was also greatly depleted because he had gathered too much of his soul power earlier. While the realm of the while the realm of the unity of heaven and man was very strong, its depletion of Long Aoshin's soul power was also very great. After the series of attacks, his passageways were hurting. To prevent his injury from worsening, he took it down a notch. Shu Sanchi seems to have been flung away, but Long Aoshin knew that he was exploiting the momentum of his attack to spring back. However, Long Aoshin didn't stop him either. He also needed this time to catch his breath. Is everyone from the Tang sect so difficult to deal with? Long Aoshin breathed in deeply and tried to repress his internal pain. He retracted the burning white glow around his body. Finally, one of his seven soul rings lit up. He's not using his abilities in the realm of the unity of heaven and man anymore. Beneath the stage, who are you are brightened as he wanted to fight. Long Aoshin's transformations verified his guesses. Even though Long Aoshin wasn't any weaker as he unleashed his soul skills, his injuries should be quite bad. Since he was no longer in the realm of the unity of heaven and man, he was tapping into his soul to increase his fighting strength. Of course, Hua Yuan also knew that Long Aoshin was scariest when he fused his realm of the unity of heaven and man and his soul skills with the second awakening of his body soul. Second senior, hanging there, his first soul ring shone, and Long Aoshin's body made some weird changes. He started to bulge, and was now much bigger than before. Following this, his third soul ring also shone. There was now another layer of dark golden glow on his skin. Unleashing these two soul skills caused his aura to become stronger and stronger. Everyone could tell that his first soul skill was used to enhance his strength, speed, and other traits. His third soul skill was used to increase his body's tenacity, as if he were making his body metallic. Of course, it was more advanced than that. Right now, Long Aoshin seemed as if he had an extra layer of dark golden armor on his body. As he unleashed these two soul skills at the same time, he was already charging towards Shu Sanchi. Shu Sanchi didn't retreat this time. His fifth soul ring lit up. Suddenly, a pair of crimson red eyes opened on his shield. Turtle God Strike. Boom. Two figures clashed in the air. Shu Sanchi seemed to have become stronger. As they clashed, his entire body was dyed completely black. However, Shu Sanchi couldn't compare to Long Ocean in terms of absolute cultivation. He was still the one who was sent flying back. Enjoyable. Shu Sanchi shouted, though there was already a streak of blood on the side of his lips. However, the look in his eyes became even more incisive. Long Aoshin, who was slightly delayed by the collision, charged forward again. He came in front of Shu Sanchi and smashed his left fist down. At the same time, he raised his right hand up high. A weird scene occurred. As his second soul ring shone, his right arm was distorted and turned into a long, golden blade. As his left fist collided with the shield of the Swanwu Turtle, Shu Sanchi immediately staggered back. However, the shield was still protecting his body. However, the dark golden blade slashed like a bolt of lightning at the next moment. Long Aoshin's actions were extremely swift. He didn't give Shu Sanchi a chance to avoid him. As Shu Sanchi tilted, as Shu Sanchi tilted his shield, he tried his best to block the direct attack of the Dark Golden Blade. However, the blade was too sharp. With a clang, the blade stabbed straight into Shu Sanchi's shield. Shu Sanchi groaned. When a martial soul was hurt, it was no different from hurting the Soul Master. At times, the Soul Master might even be more critically injured. After the Dark Golden Blade stabbed into the shield, it expanded in size and seemed to completely mount itself to the shield. Long Aoshin pulled the shield, attempting to drag Shu Sanchi towards him. At this point, his left arm had already changed its form. It turned into a Dark Golden Hammer and smacked down ferociously. Shu Sanchi had no other choice now. He squatted down and used his shield to protect his body. Boom! These two consecutive blows were too strong. As the hammer pounded the shield, Long Aoshin's blade and the shield finally separated. There were many marks on the shield now, and it seemed on the verge of being torn apart. Shu Sanchi also spat out blood as he retreated. Long Aoshin stretched his arms to his sides, and his fourth soul ring lit up. Once he started his all-out attack, he wasn't going to give Shu Sanchi a chance anymore. He only decided to use such a ferocious method to defeat Shu Sanchi because he was very difficult to deal with. Not only would this save time, but it would also help to conserve his soul power. Something weird happened. Long Aoshin grew in size again, but this time, it seemed as if he were noodle that was being stretched out. He reached more than four meters in height. As he extended his arms upward, he was like a piece of dark golden metal that had been stretched after it melted. Long Aoshin continued to grow, and was soon more than five meters tall. Both his arms then clasped together, and changed into a huge axe. It was actually possible to use a body soul in this manner, changing one's body into different forms. Long Aoshin's fighting style was very special. At least, no one was like him in this tournament. Long Aoshin pulled his axe back and burst towards Shu Sanchi. This strike was bound to be astonishing. The burning white that had covered his body earlier surfaced once again. This was his fourth soul skill in the realm of the unity of heaven and man, the berserk god slash. Long Aoshin wanted to use this strike to end Shu Sanchi in this fight. Shu Sanchi was stunned. He didn't even try to dodge. He only stood there, rooted in place. The axe was about to chop down. Suddenly, Shu Sanchi smiled. A very arrogant and confident smile. Chi. As the axe slashed down, Shu Sanchi and his shield were split in two. However, they then turned into a patch of black fluid. When the fluid spread, the stage suddenly darkened, and the ground turned completely black. A huge amount of black water surged, and waves were formed almost instantly. The entire stage had suddenly turned into a black ocean. Long Aoshin had exploited his momentum in the air to unleash his attack. Moreover, he was a seven-ring soul sage, and could fly using his soul power. But no matter how strong an axe was, how useful how useful was it in water? An astonished look appeared on Long Aoshin's face again. He had been locked onto Shu Sanchi a second ago. However, everything seemed to change when he struck his opponent. Is this? Is this a domain type soul skill? Long Aoshin took in a deep breath. Just like how the Tang Sect hadn't expected the Body Sect to have someone as strong as him, he hadn't expected to meet someone from the Tang Sect who was so difficult to deal with. As the black wave surged, a figure formed from the black water, rising amidst the waves. Shu Sanchi's voice sounded from all directions. While your attack is strong, you can't overcome water. Water is the strongest defense. If you want to overcome my defense, show me what you've got. A huge shield appeared in the sky
was also his sixth soul skill, Swan Wisdom Aim. Even among Shrek's seven monsters, Bei Bei was the only one he knew about his sixth soul skill. After years of tireless cultivation, he also understood that Xu Sanchi hadn't waited for his seventh soul skill, but completed his control of the Swan Wu through his sixth soul skill. It was his greatest trump card. In Swan Wisdom Aim, he was able to fully use his Swan Wu shield. At the same time, the strength of the Swan Wu shield would be greatly increased in Swan Wisdom Aim. In this domain, all of Xu Sanchi's abilities would increase by 100%. Of course, Swan Wu's domain required a lot of soul power to maintain. As it enhanced him, the domain would also suppress the opponent. This suppression was on two levels, both spiritual and physical. The Swan Wu was a divine aquatic beast. As a result, an enemy would face the suppression of water in Swan Wu's domain. Long Aishan could already feel it. The air disappeared, and everything around him turned very thick. He couldn't breathe, and the water pressure was rising. With Xu Sanchi's current cultivation, his enemies would have to handle water pressure and resistance equivalent to a depth of 20 meters. This was the home ground of the eternal defense, Xu Sanchi. Long Aishan nodded gently as he looked at Xu Sanchi, and even gave him a thumbs up. Those who were strong often developed admiration for one another. However, Long Aishan's eyes shone very brightly at this moment. A silver projection rose behind his back. The last time it had appeared, it had done so to resist Yana's invitation. Long Aishan's body jerked, and he forced the water pressure around him away. His fifth black soul ring shone at this point. His body lit up in a burning white flame, like he had set himself on fire. His fourth, his fourth soul skill was the Berserk God Slash. His fifth soul skill was named the Transformation of Heaven and Earth. Long Aishan began to spin in place like a drill. His body completely contorted. As he spiraled rapidly, he started to rise. The water pressure of Swan Wu's domain was forced away by his spiraling motion. Even though Xu Sanchi used all his strength to suppress his opponent, he could only watch as Long Aishan gained altitude. Right now, Long Aishan's aura was very dangerous. Who are you? could tell that Long Aishan was finally at his strongest state. Second awakening of his body soul, unity of heaven and man, and soul skills. All three had come together. Xu Sanchi was only a soul emperor. His Swan Wu's domain wasn't strong enough to completely trap his opponent. Long Aishan used his domineering abilities to drive himself out of Swan Wu's domain. He escaped the domain and instantly shot into the sky. Of course, this was also because there weren't any restrictions on the height of the venue. If they had followed the rules of the last tournament, it wouldn't have been possible for him to launch himself into the sky. Long Aishan was like a huge ball of incandescent light as he rose into the sky. After he rocketed more than a hundred meters up, he suddenly stopped. The ball of burning light turned, and then plummeted down with an unstoppable and ferocious momentum. Unity of heaven and man, transformation of heaven and earth. This was the true meaning behind this strike. As he saw this, Huo Yuan finally gained an understanding of Long Aishan's abilities. When Long Aishan chose to use his soul skills, his impressive fighting techniques gave his attacks incredible explosive power. Long Aishan's first and third soul skills were used to strengthen himself. The purpose of the rest was to increase his destructive power to the limit. The strength of his current attack was already comparable to the attack of an eight ring soul duo. Every time a soul master advanced to the next level, the difference from his previous level was substantial. The higher one advanced, the more obvious the difference would be. Although Long Aishan was extremely gifted, he must have had sacrificed a lot in order to become a soul sage. He had also suffered a lot, and he was the only one who knew just how much. He hadn't had a childhood, but instead sacrificed everything for his cultivation to achieve what he was today. Even so, he had only just become a soul sage. Although he had only just become a soul sage, he had managed to increase his destructive power to the level of a soul duo without using his martial soul true body. His abilities were truly extraordinary. Many soul masters' soul skills were named after meteors. However, Long Aishan's current attack was more like a real meteor. Shu Sanchi drifted in his own domain and had a stern look on his face. He lifted his swan with shield up high, and black light surged out. The entire domain started to revolve rapidly. It was like a black whirlpool was being generated. The transformation of heaven and earth came crashing down. When it charged into the domain, it even Domain. It even caused white smoke to surface. The domain seemed to react to this attack like a living being. It quickly rose, revolved, attenuated, and diverted Long Aishan's attack. It was attempting to suppress the violent assault. At this instant, Shu Sanchi did something no one expected. Black light flashed, and someone else switched places with him. There was no way he could lock onto Long Aishan in that state, and thus he was naturally not the one being switched over. There was only one other person apart from Shu Sanchi and Long Aishan on the stage. I can see defeat. Referee, please protect me. Shu Sanchi appeared on one side of the stage. He was even shouting shamelessly. Swan Wu's domain quickly subsided. The transformation of heaven and earth that was being suppressed also blew apart. Boom. It was an unprecedented explosion. A mushroom cloud even formed. Heaven and earth were transformed. The protective barriers around the stage shone extremely brightly, forced into their strongest defensive mode. A white barrier opened up, and the white light that struck the barrier was dispelled by the intense undulations generated by the barrier. The impact in this direction was also the smallest. As he resisted Long Aishan's attack, Zhang Zan's jaw was clenched so hard he almost broke his teeth. That bastard! How dare he use me? However, he had no other choice now. Shu Sanchi was most cunning in the way he had conceded defeat. At the same time, he switched places with Zhang Zan. There wasn't anything wrong in being protected by the referee after conceding defeat. The transformation of heaven and earth suppression of his domain wasn't enough to let Long Aishan lock onto him, and so gave him an opportunity to use the mysterious underworld displacement. Shu Sanchi and Bei Bei had already planned it out earlier. They could rely on Huo Yuan's two victories in the individual elimination round. With those two victories, the Tang sect could request that they enter the team round as long as they won one more individual elimination round. This also meant that they only needed to defeat Long Aishan. However, they didn't have to be impatient about it. Even if they didn't win this round, they still had five more opportunities. Bei Bei, Wang Donga, and Yi Ketu had yet to compete. That was why Shu Sanchi's aim was very simple. Probe the abilities of his opponent and deplete him at the same time. He just needed to conserve his own strength for the team round. Swan Wu's domain had been unleashed, and the Swan Wu shield had evolved and mutated. Shu Sanchi had been extremely high spirited. Almost everyone thought that he was going to fight all out with Long Aishan. Long Aishan had also believed that and used his strongest strike. Who knew that Shu Sanchi would be so shameless and switch with the referee before conceding defeat? Even though Huo Yuan had countless fighting strategies, he couldn't use shameless tactics like Shu Sanchi. The explosion lasted for seven to eight seconds before it ended. The spectators were horrified to see a huge depression in the center of the stage that spanned more than 50 meters in diameter. Only the area that the unbreakable duo had protected was in better shape. The depth of the depression couldn't be seen from beneath the stage. However, those on the main stage could tell that it was could tell that it was five meters deep. The stage was actually made of high-quality granite reinforced with steel plates. How strong did the impact have to be in order to form this huge depression? The watching Jing Hingchen's expression also changed greatly at this point. Even though Xiao Hingchen and Long Aishan both had seven rings, he knew that Long Aishan was definitely superior to Xiao Hingchen. This also meant that the Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineering Academy would have also faced trouble if they had advanced and met the Snow Demon sect. Long Aishan appeared at the core of the explosion. He was half kneeling on the ground, his hair flowing on both sides of his head. Right now, he resembled a god of war. Long Aishan's expression was very dismal as he slowly got up. His face was pale as he looked at Shu Sanchi, who was looking over curiously. He furiously shouted, "Why didn't you dare fight me?" Shu Sanchi leisurely said, "It's not that I don't dare to. It's that I don't want to. Why must I fight all out with you, coward?" Long Aishan said coldly, you're not fit to be my op
suddenly stood up and said to the unbreakable Dilworth, referee, can we request that the stage be repaired, now that it's in such bad shape? Otherwise, the spectators won't be able to watch the upcoming fights. Indeed, most of the stage had been destroyed. The center of the stage had turned into a huge hole and looked extremely battered. There was no way to fight on such a stage. However, time was needed to repair the stage. This would undoubtedly be very beneficial for the Snow Demon sect. Long Aeushan had been greatly depleted. He could use that time to recover slightly and continue the individual elimination rounds. He might be able to defeat the whole of the Tang sect on his own. Princess Wayna was very clever. Bei Bei also stood up and said to the referee, the stage is indeed badly damaged. However, there shouldn't be any rest time in the individual elimination rounds. According to the rules, the Snow Demon sect just won the previous fight. If repairs are carried out now, it'll be very unfair to us. Please deal with this issue fairly. Shu Sanchi's pre- Shu Sanchi's previous antics left Seng Zhan extremely unimpressed with the Tang sect. However, Shu Tianran had personally paid him a visit before this semi-final round. Although the Tang sect knew many things, the Sun Moon Empire was also aware of these things, since they were the one who had organized this tournament. Many things also became more and more obvious as the tournament reached the quarterfinals. To the Sun Moon Empire, the rise of the Tang sect was indeed a threat. However, the Tang sect's threat to them had to be calculated alongside that of Shrek Academy. However, the Body sect was an even greater threat, considering how they had attacked the illustrious Virtue Hall before. There was deep hatred towards the Body sect in the Sun Moon Empire. Given a choice, the Empire would be more inclined towards the Tang sect, though it would be best if both teams suffered greatly to pave the way for the Holy Ghost sect. He would rather let the Holy Ghost sect win and invite condemnation than to let Shrek or the Body sect become the champions of this tournament. Shu Tianran had the intention of starting a war after this tournament was over. He wasn't afraid of criticism from the three empires of the continent. As a result, Zheng Zan wouldn't stand on the Snow Demon sect side, even though he was hurt by Xu Sanchi. The stage is indeed greatly damaged. To continue the tournament and to ensure fairness, I'll personally ensure that the stage is level. The tournament shall continue. Tang Sect, please send up your third competing member. As he spoke, Zheng Zan swiped his right hand, and a ball of white light as large as a human head flew out. Under his control, this ball of light let out a white glow. It spread out over the stage, quickly engulfing the entire surface. As the white light glowed, the damaged stage seemed to be covered by an extra layer of light. The toughness and durability of this layer were shocking. Long Aeushan's expression also changed, as he couldn't recognize what class of salt Zheng Zan was using. Crown Prince Shu Tianran nodded slightly and revealed a smile on his face. The unbreakable duo is indeed very adaptable. Yes, I want them to continue fighting. Princess Wei her brow. She turned to the Tang sect and said, My friends, can we negotiate a little? Bei Bei stood up and smiled at Princess Weina. He said, Your Highness, please tell us what you want. Weina smiled and said, Although it's regrettable that we're fighting each other in this tournament, I'd like to say that our sect respects the Tang sect very much. Both our sects have obtained two victories as of now. No matter who wins today, the winner still has to continue to compete against the enemy in the final. My suggestion is, Let's enter the team round right now. What do you think? When she referred to the final, she specifically used the word enemy. Although she wasn't loud, the Holy Ghost sect in the resting area could definitely hear her. Immediately, a few men in black stood up. However, their leader, the mysterious lady in black, gestured to them, and they sat back down. Bei Bei pondered for a moment before saying, All right, we are willing to go with your idea. Let's enter the team round there. Enter the team round then, to decide the victor. Bei Bei had thought about it for a moment, and realized that the Snow Demon sect wouldn't gain any advantage over them even if they entered the team round right now. While Long Aeushan was strong, he was also greatly depleted after fighting two consecutive times. In addition, Chen Lu couldn't fight right now. This meant that the Snow Demon sect was fighting them with only six people. On the Tang sect side, Hua Yuao had quickly restored his soul power. The time he was afforded when Xu Sanchi fought Long Aeushan had enabled him to mostly recover. After both parties finished the negotiation, they quickly proposed their idea to the unbreakable Dilo. Wei Na also jumped up on the stage immediately and came up beside Long Aeushan. A snow lotus in full bloom appeared in front of her chest. A gentle glow shone down on Long Aeushan as she helped restore him. While Long Aeushan was the strongest in the Snow Demon sect, Wei Na was the real brains behind the entire team. She could judge things for herself. Long Aeushan was depleted after fighting two consecutive times. However, she knew him well enough to know that he wasn't in bad shape. This senior of hers was a fanatic. At this point, his fighting will had increased to its peak. The only thing troubling him was his earlier injuries. At this point, treating his injuries would greatly help restore his fighting strength. Even though his soul power had been depleted, his opponents were also depleted. Just like him, the members of both teams ascended to the stage. Wang Dong pushed to a Yuao, while Bei Bei and Xu Sanchi walked shoulder to shoulder in front of the entire team. Long Aeushan's gaze turned sharp again as he saw Xu Sanchi ascending the stage. He snorted furiously. He had nothing but contempt for Xu Sanchi now. Xu Sanchi wasn't bothered. He placed one hand on Bei Bei's shoulder and even seemed a little delighted. See. This is how impressive a defense type soul master is. We are naturally talented in developing hatred. Bei Bei smiled and replied, You are right. You are very right. You have a mocking face. Shu Sanchi was infuriated. Bei Bei, how dare you say that I deserve to be beaten up? Bei Bei acted innocent. I didn't say that. You said it yourself. As they squabbled like this, the tense atmosphere around Shrek's seven monsters suddenly relaxed. Bei Bei gestured towards Huo Yuan as he placed his right hand behind his back. Huo Yuan knew what was going on. Both teams formed a row in the center of the stage. Indeed, Chen Lu wasn't competing. The Snow Demon sect, or rather the body sect, only had six members, led by Long Aeushan. Long Aeushan was in front of everyone else. Princess Wei was behind him, followed by Wang Yanfeng and the rest of the team. The spectators had beheld a great show watching the first few individual elimination rounds, especially when they witnessed Long Aeushan's unrivaled abilities and Shu Sanchi's domain. Both were unprecedented so far in the tournament. Right now, the most intense team round was about to start. The spectators were cheering excitedly, and their fervor was rising. Competing members from both parties, please report your names. Tang Sect, Bei Bei, Tang Sect, he Tang Sect, Hikaitu, Tang Sect, Shu Sanchi, Tang Sect, Jang Nanan, Tang Sect, Xia Xiao, Tang Sect, Huo Yuao, Tang Sect, Wang Donga. After Bei Bei returned as the team leader, Shrek Seven Monsters naturally reported their names according to their seniority. On the other side, Snow Demon Sect, Long Aeushan, Snow Demon Sect, Wei Na, Snow Demon Sect, Wang Yanfeng, Snow Demon Sect, Hu Tong, Snow Demon Sect, Jiang Yixi, Snow Demon Sect, Chen Wu. Apart from the first three familiar faces, there were three other members from the Snow Demon Sect. Hu Tong was a slender young man with a very delicate appearance. He even seemed a little shy. However, his eyes were especially bright. Jiang Yixi was a woman. Her appearance was more ordinary, but her figure was very good. Huo Yuao first noticed her hands when he observed her. They were bound to capture attention. Her hands were smooth and long, even longer than most men taller than her. her were white and smooth, while her skin was radiating a golden glow. It was obvious that her martial soul was her hands. The young man named Chen Wu had a well-developed figure. However, he was strangely hunchbacked. His body curled up slightly, but the look in his eyes was very sharp. Both teams lined up in two rows as they observed each other. Zheng Zan said, "From the individual elimination round to the team round, all of you would normally have had some rest. However, this rest time will be voided since the individual elimination rounds weren't fully completed, and no team attains three victories. The team round is about to start.
Who are you adding stand on ceremony either? As a controlled hype soul master with spiritual detection, no one was more suitable than him to control the entire situation. Very soon, both teams were lined up at their respective sides of the stage. Zeng Zan took a deep breath, a slightly complex look on his face. These kids were able to make it so intense in the individual elimination rounds. I wonder what it'll be like in this team round. Anyway, his highness also told me to let them suffer as much as possible. I shall be less strict in this team round and let them fight more freely. On the other side, Wei also instructed her teammates with a few words. After hearing her words, even Long Haitian seemed to calm down. Both parties, please be prepared. Team round, begin. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.